you look to one man from Sumatra. Look at him face to face. And you can't you say to him, you are a foreigner? Can you say that to him? He's not a foreigner. Probably you have ancestors coming from Sumatra. This was the land of Islam. The division is not ours, it's theirs. And when you look at our people in Patani, in Patani, that it was the cradle of Islam. It was a great place of ulama and Sufis. And now they have been forced to live under subjugation of the Thai Kufar. The Thais. They are our brothers. They are not foreigners. They are our brothers. When they are beaten up, is our affair. Just like somebody from Keta is beaten up, is our affair. Somebody from Patani is our affair. And when the people of Mindanao, the great Sultan of Sulu, when these people are beaten up by this Philippine Freemasonic written thugs, is our affair. It's our affair. We live in a dream, in a dream of fantasies. We are divided by fantasies, little flags, national anthems, and football teams. But we are one nation, we are one people. This is what Islam says. We have to get together. Wake up from the dream. It's nothing but a dream. And you have to do it with the heart. And you have to declare white, and loud and clear. Bang Negara is haram. It's haram, haram, haram. And the ulama of this country, they're scared to say it. Let me say it for them. It's haram. The ringgit is a form of theft of the people that has maintained an elite of Chinese kufar above you and they control 30% of the population of Chinese non-Muslim Chinese control 80% of the economy and nothing, nothing will change that nothing will change that Islamic banks are not going to change that because Islamic banks that your ulama have created are haram, 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 three times haram they are worse than the kufar haram banks and this is all maintained by a free Masonic constitution created by Freemasons with all the elements of tolerance and central bank and paper money and legal tender so that the Malays will be subjugated and you have swallowed that and accepted that and you, what do you do about it? Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to say it? Well, the Sheikh has come from you, from al to tell you that but you should do it I know some of you, have it in your heart Maybe when the white hair starts appearing, we know we don't care anymore. We have we have reminder there that death is coming. So what are they going to scare us with? Prison? I come from a tradition from a sheikh that spent half of his time in prison and I haven't spent it one day. I feel shame of myself. So I don't care about that. Don't you care either? But speak and tell the people and be clear. And when we want to speak about the things that they are wrong, the best way is to do it with action upon the things that they are right. If we want to eliminate riba, what we must do is to establish Muhammad. Establish Muhammad. If we want to fight free, mas free masonry, it's not just to be against the constitution but to establish Muhammad because in establishing the positive the bad things will disappear when the light comes the darkness disappears so this is our emphasis to establish what is right and to forbid what is forbidden naturally but it's not enough to say what, har what is haram
Freemasonry is Kufu. Let's make it loud and clear. And anyone who gives oath of alliance to these disgusting, kafir, anti-human, criminal organization of the Freemasons, he has declared himself a kafir. He doesn't belong to us. And the oath is a big deal with us. We don't take it lightly. The people who make oath to them, they belong to them. They don't belong to us. I'd rather die than to give alliance to any one of them. I'd rather die, but I don't care about what their ideas are, what their the justifications are. They say, no, we didn't know. Then you learn, find out. You did it there, you work with them, you sat down with them, you went through these ridiculous rituals. And they have this shaking hand. How many times in Malaysia I keep people putting the, putting the finger and shaking the hands like this, which is the symbolic thing of this framework. How many times I've got that? Like saying, hey, I am one of them. Either do, are you part of them? No, I'm not. Shame, shame. Many don't even know. They join Freemasonry, they don't even know. Because nobody says what I'm just saying today. Because it's not clear. So let's make it clear. Kufu. Nothing but Kufu. That's what it is. So. Tasawuf. Is not the esoteric part of Islam. Tasawuf is the heart of Islam. And by that we mean we are the defenders of the Sharia. Where everybody hesitates, we will not hesitate. Where everybody has difficulty and compromise with this and the other. And they say, no, but you have to understand and you have to be practical. The Sufi will say, no, there's nothing practical about this. We are the people who affirm that the Islam does not need reform. We are the people who go back to the origin. And the origin of Tasawuf is of uh, Medina, of Islam, is Medina al Munawara. That's the heart. What is the model of uh, the Sufis? Is Sheikh this or Sheikh that? No. The model of all the Sufis is Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So there is clarity on the matter. If you want to become a perfect Sufi, Become the closest that you come to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that you have achieved the maximum. And what is our doctrine? The establishment of the Sharia without any question or condition or timing or delay. This is Tasawuf. And what it does is to know that wherever you find yourself incapable with your hands to act, and this is the condition of many of us, if it yes, I know it's wrong, but I cannot act, the Sufi will say, yes, you can, but not with the hands. Not with the hands. Because the hands are limited. But you have an instrument that is much more powerful than the hands. And that is the heart. And what you want with the heart, it will come to you. The heart is much more powerful than the limbs. And that's why Sheikh Darkawi said, if you knew the power of the heart, you will not bother with the limbs. And the heart is where the fear and the attraction comes in. And it's through fear and attraction that you are paralyzed. And in order to, to break the fear that the, this kufar have imposed on you, you need more fear. And to eliminate the, the attachment to little bits in dunya with which they have manipulated you. You manipulated love for dunya, for love for Allah. Love of Allah and fear of Allah. That is what cures you. When you have enough of taqwa, there is no fear of anything else. When you have enough love of Allah, there is no love for anything else. And only then you are free. And only then you can act. We are fighting against something that has no power. The banks have no power. Kufur has no power. No power. There is no two masters in the universe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not fighting 
against Riva. He has declared war on Riva, I means it's done. He's already defeated. If this is defeated, what does it mean it's defeated? That Riva is defeated already. It means that they has no power at all. It doesn't hold itself. All we have to do is to move away from it. And it's gone. But don't be confused. Don't be confused with all this nonsense that have been propagated. You are not constrained by constitutions. You are not constrained by, by your time, by your culture, by who you are. All that is in your nerves. Eliminate the nerves and everything goes. But have courage. Have courage because our days are few. And while we are here, let us say it clear and loud as much as we can. Let's say it. And do it with your heart first and you will find, you will find the strength to say it even clearer. And keep the company of the people who give you courage. Because only through that you will find the strength to say it perhaps once. For Allah is merciful and he understands your condition. But come close to him and you will find more strength and more strength and more strength. Victory belongs to Allah. We follow Allah. So I say to you, trust Allah and follow him, whether you understand it or not. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.